Hello, it's Koi and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. I'm really happy to have you here with me. Um, if it's your first time, welcome. If it's, if you're um, one of the few who keep coming back day after day after day, welcome. Um, if you watched the last video, you know that we made some gigantic pockets, tucks, belly bands and such for our huge journal. <laughs> We're trying to get used to the feel of it, trying to give it a little personality and, and um, you know, decide where we're going to, some of the direction that we're going to be moving in. And that's like, it. I'm having a, uh, I figured I would come in here and wind down a little bit uh, before bedtime and go ahead and turn the um, camera on and put these somewhere in the journal since we've already got them made. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I'm looking at these and I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> we really need to have a big tag. If this is, um, this is going to be a, an up tuck, the top tuck. So we're going to need some really big, uh, tag. <laughs> so we can use this for a tag. Okay. We can use that whole thing. One of those for a tag. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm doing it the way I know how, and um, this is how we're getting started. If you have thoughts and ideas on dealing with the large, you know, the large page put it in comments or I have opened up the um, I'm the only one I haven't invited anybody yet but I do have the eclectic cottage Facebook group um, open and I think it's available just the eclectic cottage you put that into Facebook uh, maybe I'll try if there's a way if I'll try and figure out how to link it in uh, link it below when I upload this video but if you have large, if you have large journals, oh, that would be great. If you have um, large size journals that you've made, um, if you wanted to give us a quick flip through and, you know, show us a couple of pages that you made and, and how, you know, some tips on how you've dealt with um, the big book, uh, it'd be appreciated. I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. I don't know if, you know, people that are using them I don't know if they're putting giant belly bands. Is that what they're doing? Are they putting giant side tucks? You know, look at this, <laughs> look at this, look at this folder. Look at this thing. Are they putting giant flip out um, pockets on their giant junk journal pages? I don't know, but we're using up some of our junk. We're using up our junk and we're creating something artistic we're creating something artsy that wasn't there before. Here we go. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's just so giant. Okay. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that thinks that this is crazy? All right, we have five pieces. I know we already put the one of Chi Chi in there. Where's Chi Chi? Where did we put our cheaters? I don't know. We'll run across it. But we remember we made the one of Chi Chi and we put it in there. And I think there's five pieces here and we have five signatures. So we'll put one in each signature. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. And um, we may not make our, our, um, our tags and the rest of the, you know, ephemera to go in them, things to stuff the pockets with. What are we going to stuff in this pocket? Look at the size of this pocket. You know, what are we going to have? You know, a, a, a journal card this size. This this would fit in there. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I'm the only one that thinks this is funny. All right, let's go with this one first. And the reason this is going in here, I, this goes in every single journal. I'm, I I don't even remember making a journal without this in, in ages. 
So we're going to find a spot for it. We designed it as a um, a tip-in, a tip-in uh, pocket. And it could even just be on a page this size. It could be on a page this size and that would leave, you know, journaling spot under there or we can, you know, put down some, um, you know, we can put down some additional, we can do anything we want down. We can do anything we want down there. Look at the size of that real estate. How about that? Is it gonna be too heavy for that kind of paper? I don't think so. All we're doing is holding it on right here. Okay. We're doing that. We're doing that. Should we try and cover up those holes? No, not really. They'll be just shy of the holes. All right. So how are all of you doing? I hope you had a good weekend. It's, this is Sunday night, by the way. I had a quiet weekend, did a little crafting. It's so hot, it's been so hot. It's been, I know, I know it's, it's not just us. I know, um, a lot of people are really suffering with this weather. And good Lord, the ones whose air conditioning goes out, whew, your heart's got to go out to them because it is hot, hot, hot. Okay, well, I don't even, it, to me, this is perfect just like it is. I don't even know that we need to put a little um, label or, I don't even know that we need anything. I guess we could put a little lace or something up top that would kind of stick out. Would it, it might not even stick out the top because this is eight and a half by 11 and the others are 12. So 11, the others are an inch taller than this page. So even if I put, oh, I'm not putting lace right now. This is something that could be easily laced later. If we so are so inclined. All right. Let's put this one away. One down, that was quick. And when we get to the point where we're filling pockets, we'll um, we'll have a lot of a lot of pockets to fill. A lot of pocket to fill. I like having the pages loose until I'm ready to sew in, you know, sew in the signatures. And I usually wait until after I'm pretty happy with, you know, for the most part with the amount of um, pockets and tucks and such that are in the, you know, on the pages. All right, that was the first one. The second one is the page flip. Page flip, and it's going to go in this signature. That wouldn't be bad. <clears throat> what options do we have here? What are our options? This is a big no. Although it fits, it fits on the little pages. 
That's big. Mm. That's a really nice paper. That was in an actual book. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what kind of book it was. It had dragons and stuff in it, I think. We're not putting it on the Hello Dolly page. Who pays for what? You want to be on the Who Pays for What page? We will definitely have to do something to the Who Pays for What page. I don't know that we need that in our journal. Does the bride or the groom pay? All right, I'm going back to the to the original thought was this music page. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And this, maybe, maybe this could use some lace at the top because it's on one of the tallest pages. And if we have, you know, the lace going across the top, then it will be one of the first few, first few things that are going to be sticking on the outside of the journal. What do we have that we could use? Um, I have this. It's not my favorite look, but it's not bad. I mean, it matches the pink and the pink, or if that's red. Yeah, that kind of matches. It feels so, so stiff and so new. Should we try and... Yeah, I don't want it straight like that. We're gonna, let's make it a little longer than we need it. Try to give it a little body. interfere with that? I don't want to. Should we put, it on, put it on this side. I could remove this and put it down lower. Oh, why not? Actually, I'll just cut it. We're junk journalers, we fix things. Okay, this wasn't a mistake, it's just something that needs to be altered in order to let our creativity flow. All right, so now let's put our lace. And then we'll put a new flip. I'll use fabric tag it adheres pretty quickly. I need to put in an order for some. Okay, so what are your go to what are your go to glues? I mostly use, you know, my glue stick, usually an Avery glue stick. And I'm pretty reliant on art glitter glue. And Aline's I use for when I'm doing a big project and we're going to be using a lot of glue. It's really a good glue. I mean, we've been using Aline's our whole life, right? I mean, it's like 50 or 50 plus years old. I know that when I was growing up, my mom kept Aline's tacky glue in the house for our projects. I 
All right, where are we going to start here? that's not too bad I didn't think I would ever use that lace for anything it just looks so stiff and so canned it looks so mm, ordinary Give it a little haircut here. Okay, and that's the first thing that we that we've made that's going to stick out of the top of our journal. I like when things stick out of the top or stick out of the side. Some people stick out of the bottom. I haven't um, I haven't mastered that. I don't know. To me, it kind of gets in the way if it's, you know, sticking, you know, through the bottom of the, the journal. But tell me, is that something that you do? Do you, do you have things that are protruding to, through the bottom of the journal, like lace or paper or some odd things? All right, we even have the same exact uh, paper to keep using. All right. All right, Fabri-Tac. with you for the moment. I just assume put this blob. I can't believe this glue is on my finger. Uh, I've just learned recently that I have a I'm squeamish to uh to to glue. It's not sticking. The art glitter glue is not sticking. Let's see. Put a little fabric tack here. Okay, I'm liking it. It's cute. 
cute. Let's scuff it up a little bit. Right, and this goes in like this. So it's gonna go on this side. All right, let's distress this page a little too while we have it out here. Yeah, distressing is definitely an extra step and it does take uh, it does take some effort, but It doesn't feel like it's my page unless unless I've just dressed it. Not a lot, just a little. But still, if I see one of the pages in my journal that hasn't been done, it just looks naked. It looks naked. All right, every time we touch our pages, every time we put a little a little mark on them, we're, you know, breaking them in, we're making them ours. These are my pages. It's my paper and I like it. I'm interested to know what's on your desk, what's going on in your art room. You can go over to the Facebook page, Eclectic, The Eclectic Cottage. Give us a little shot of what's going on in your desk. Let's all get to know each other a little bit. I don't really intend to do a lot with that Facebook group. I don't like intend to, you know, run games and, you know, and all of those things. It's just, that's why it's called the Eclectic, oh, it's the Eclectic Cottage Cafe. The Eclectic Cottage Cafe, just a place for our girlfriends. And I don't know if we have boyfriends. That's okay too. I know that, that, um, there are men that are watching. One of them is my son-in-law. He watches every day. My son says that he watches, that Brad watches every day and he tells everybody about our channel. My son-in-law is gotta be, he is just gotta be one of my favorite people in the whole world. I love him so much. Both of my son-in-laws. I really lucked out in the son-in-law department. And my kids, I have three kids. I have my daughter, uh, Angie is the oldest. Her and Joey are exactly a year apart. They celebrate their birthdays together. They just had their birthday week in Miami this past week. Um, they've been best friends their whole life. Roommates, a lot of part of their lives. 
and they've been business partners for well over a decade. Well over a decade. They've been business partners at Revolution Inc. And um, they'll always be, I'm sure they'll always be that close. And Mandy lives in Lafayette, which is about two and a half hours away from here. And she's got my three grandchildren, my two granddaughters, Malia and Marlia, and our bouncing baby boy. His name is Abel. And he is just a little over one. What is he, like 14 months? And he thinks he's all grown up. He thinks that he is everything. And he is. He's really lucky. He goes from arm to arm to arm in that family. He's got two older sisters who just think he's something. Especially Marlia. Marlia is 11 and Maylie is 13, soon to be 14. 14. How did my baby get to be 14? Oh, they don't stay little long, do they? They don't stay little long. No, oh, they do not. So if you have any little ones bouncing around, make the most out of your moments because before you know it, They'll be off doing their own thing somewhere. All right, I like it. We're doing paper on paper here. So let's go back to art, art glitter glue. I had someone ask me in the comments um, the other day, what the heck is, what the heck is a one buck chuck? And I have mentioned my little story about One Buck Chuck. This is One Buck Chuck. I don't know if she's still watching, but this is One Buck Chuck. And I did answer her the best I could on uh, in the comments. But I've told the story several times, and I will actually, if I don't see Chuck, I will call his name and look for him. You know, I um, I talk sometimes to my art supplies. I'm thinking some of you may do the same thing, but I, I didn't think I, well, I guess I never gave it much thought of how absurd it would sound to somebody to be hearing me call it a one buck chuck if they didn't hear the story. So that's Chuck. And I use it for everything. I bought it at the dollar store for a buck when it was still the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. And was so surprised. I was so surprised at how much I liked using it and how much better it's, you know, how much better it is than a bone folder. Chuck smooths everything out. It's just. He feels good in your hand, and he was a buck. I can't believe he was a buck, and uh, he's all that. I don't want to craft without Chuck. All right, that's number two. Let's get it back in our signature. Get rid of that red. Maybe we'll use that, that red um, lace somewhere else uh, in the journal. I like eclectic, but, you know, I also, you know, like to, I, I also know that I like to, you know, usually use things, um, three times. I'm, I'm kind of a, a big advocate of the, you know, the laws of three. All right, doesn't go across the whole journal, but it's a little something sticking out of the top. That's nice. And <laughs> the bluebirds. I put the bluebirds of happiness intentionally. 
put the bluebirds of happiness in every journal. I just think it's a nice thing. It's so nice. I've been doing that for for a while. I don't know if I saw it somewhere else, someone else doing it and, and copying them. If so, I apologize. It's just something that I do and I don't know um, where it came from. Um, but I think even, you know, when I was doing art journaling way back in the day, I think that the bluebird of happiness, uh, you know, sh showed up a lot. And it, again, it's not always the same birds. Sometimes it's just a single bird, but always the bluebird of happiness. <coughs> okay. What do we want to use some lace on, on this one too, since it's at the top of the page? We could use <coughs> How about that? That or what is this? Just just a uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go big. Go big or go home. Oh, we're going big, all right. We're gonna go big or go home. Oh. Okay. We're not going to go that big or anything. Although we could if we wanted to because we've got the real estate. We could do all that. Maybe we'll go big, not this big, but maybe we'll go big and move this down on the page a little bit to compensate for this since it's all sewn together so nicely. What do you think? Yeah, we'll just do a regular size. All right. Let's not get weird. All right, let's get it glued down and then we'll give it a haircut or should we give it the haircut first? Give it the haircut first. Oh, okay. Good idea. Okay, that's still big, but not absurdly big, right? Okay, Fabri-Tac, come on. Let's do this. This glue, this glue works best when the bottle is full. Otherwise you spend a lot of time waiting for the glue to fall down. Cause you can't leave it upside down like you do with you know, like with tacky glue or something. You know, you just kind of leave it upside down so you don't have to wait like this. But if you do that in this icing bottle, you get big globs of glue falling out of this out of the um the tip. So 
So in my humble opinion, the best way to use Fabri-Tac is to keep your bottle full, which I don't always tend to do. But when it is full, I'm like, oh, this is so much better. So for those of you that can do better than me, keep your bottle full. Keep your bottle full. Okay. Still too long? Yeah, it's still pretty long. I say let's give it a little bit more of a trim. better. All right, and because this is lace, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac again to adhere it to the paper. page for this? I don't think we did. I think I'm putting my cart before my horse. All right, bluebirds, where you going? Where, oh, where will our bluebirds go? Do you want to go on yellow? No. and we could I don't know where you're gonna go how about right here oh why not oh 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 more we need more. Where's art? Here you are. We need you glued on the sides also. We don't have lace here, so I think art should be fine. Bluebirds of happiness. Yeah. Tuck some stuff up there. Some big things. Or multiple things or something. Okay. I like it.
I don't think I'm going to cover this little boy up, at least not anytime soon. And I doubt that I'm going to cover these. Why would I cover them up? Would you cover them up? Maybe we could add some lace or something up there. Um, oh, we got this black paper. Maybe we could do something black, make a black and white spread right here on this black page. No, I doubt I'll cover them up, but I could add a piece of fabric or something to them to bring it around. What is this? This is the back of an envelope. Okay. down well. All right, that's number three. We are moving right along. And a belly band. This is Sylvia's um, embroidery. Sylvia, she lives in Mexico. I think near Mexico City, I think. And she does embroidery work, beautiful embroidery work on the front of her journal covers. And then she photographs the covers and makes digital papers with them for us to enjoy in our journals. I love that. All right, a belly band. Where, oh, where can this belly band go? Maybe one of the largest pages. But if so, we have to decide what to do with the rest of the page. Do we? We could add some paint. Or we could add some paper. We could make a collage. Hmm. Maybe I need to wait on the belly band until I fix the page for both of these. Because this too, you know, if we put this on here, we're going to want to decide what to do with the rest of the paper, right? Why, yes. We could just put this on here and let it... Let it flip. Hi, Cheech. Hi, Chi She's going to hear me talking about her and want to come in here. Look at that, I love you. We could put some paper up there and leave I love you down there. Would that be cute? Well, yes. I think we will. Hmm. We'll do a little, little collage up there. Let's see if we have some scraps to use.
Sorry for bouncing you. I think we're almost finished with this glue stick. The little ones don't last very long, do they? I think you go like that. Do you go like that? All right, belly band. Oh, that's a cute page. Okay. Is that everything? No. We still have one more. We have a painted page that's already painted.
I would rather it on the other side. I would rather it on the front page, not the back page. There's two, only two backs available. The front's are already taken. Let me see if there's a piece of painted paper in another one of these books. Painted paper. No. There's not, and I don't want to put it on a white page. So, with that in mind, I'm going to say the side tuck is going to get put on another day. Um, I guess we need to do a little distressing to some of these pages so that they're not so, so white cover some of these maybe with, you know, with some paper. Um, no, I just don't want her there. Okay, I'm gonna call it a wrap and figure out the side tuck next time. The side tuck goes in the Mozart book though. It goes in the Mozart book, signature. Oh, do you love Mozart? All right, thank you all for being here. If you have any thoughts and ideas about what to do with these big, gigantic, ginormous pages, put it in comments. If you have photos, go to the Facebook group. Let us see what you got. We could use the inspiration. I'm going to try and um, link the Facebook group. I haven't done that before. I'm going to try and link the Facebook group below this video when I, um, before I add it. And I think that's it. I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you real soon.